Hello everyone. Let's make this dress in CLO3D. Bring an avatar from library. Create the pattern with polygon tool. For curve points, you need to hold down control key on your keyboard. You can edit the shape after creating it. You can edit the curve points and also normal points with Edit Curve Point tool. Keep editing until you get the shape that you want. Now with Edit Pattern Tool right-click on this segment and select Unfold Symmetric Editing. Make a copy of this pattern for the back with Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V. Adjust its 3D position, right-click on it in the 3D window and choose Flip Horizontally. Let's sew. Do the sewings with the Segment Sewing Tool and check them from the 3D window so they're not reversed. Click on Avatar's body and increase the friction amount and also lower the skin offset. We increase the friction so our fabrics won't fall down from Avatar's body. And lowering the skin offset makes the distance between clothes and the body less which is more natural. Let's add a fabric from library. I want the trim full grain leather fabric since it's not bendy or stretchy. Increase the friction here as well. Simulate, space key on your keyboard. Every time that little arrow in the corner of 3D window turns blue, it means the simulation is on. You can scale up the patterns with Transform tool. Add internal lines. The dress isn't sitting right on Avatar's body, so we need to fix that manually. Add points and move them with Edit Pattern Tool. If you have any questions, comment them down below so I can help you. Add another internal line in the middle. Select all the internal lines except the middle one while holding down Shift key on your keyboard. If your internal line has more than one segment, double, click on it to select the whole line. Now right-click and select Offset as internal line. Choose the distance and the direction, then click on OK. Do the same with the middle internal line. I lowered the distance for this one. Now again select the middle internal line and delete it. There might be more than one middle internal line. Delete all of them. If you click four times on one internal line segment, all of the internal lines in that pattern will be selected. After selecting all of them press Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V to make a copy for the back. Adjust the internal lines positions in the back pattern. Now, with the internal lines being selected, right-click on one of them and select Cut and Sew. For the front pattern, click four times on one of the internal lines to select all of them, then right-click and select Cut and Sew. You can scale up the pattern here as well, if you want. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, Smiley Face. Drag your mouse in the 2D window with the Rectangle tool to create a rectangle. Then with Edit Pattern tool, right-click on the segments and select Split.
Then select Uniform Split and let the number be on too. Move the points a little and bring them closer to each other. To make it easier to sew, I'm going to move the patterns a little bit. Start sewing with free sewing tool. Also don't forget to freeze the dress base so it doesn't move when we simulate. Change the layer of the rectangle pattern to 1 so when we simulate, it doesn't go under the dress base. After sewing the two parts, hit space to simulate. If the pattern is too big or small, adjust it with edit pattern tool or transform tool. Add a fabric. Drag and assign it to the new pattern and then change some of its details. Don't forget to simulate after every change that you make. To make the pattern more ruched, we need to make it bigger from up and down. Bring down the particle distance a little bit so the details are more visible. Sew the top parts to each other with segment sewing tool. Do the same to the bottom parts as well. Make a copy of the pattern and sew it again. Keep making copies and sew them. I sped up this part because it's all the same thing, smiley face. Select all the patterns and hit Ctrl plus D to create symmetric patterns. Simulate. Make a copy of all the ruched patterns for the back. Adjust their position and put them in the back. Start sewing, smiley face. The process is just like the front. If you have any questions, comment them down below so I can help you. Now unfreeze the dress and simulate. Strengthen the dress. You can change the pose from library. Bring down the particle distance. Change the colors of fabrics. Let's see our dress in the interactive render. 
Try different lightings to see which one is better for this project. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. By liking this video and subscribing to my channel you will help me a lot, smiley face.